Hi everyone, welcome to this short tutorial how to set up and uh, sign into repl.it.com. Uh, first of all, you need to open your browser, make your way to this domain, repl.it.com. Uh, this is online editing uh, IDE, uh, so it works inside your browser. It's absolutely free, uh, and the beauty of this is it can allow you to collaborate with other students. So to sign up, you literally click on the top right hand side. Uh, button called sign up and then you're presented with this screen now we'd like to use a Google ID so we're just going to click on continue with Google and we pick your school Google ID from here there's mine if you haven't signed in today it might ask you to sign into your Google ID uh, it will then bring this introduction screen who are you display name a little bio which is optional and again a little picture which is optional again you'll see a little icon down here at the bottom this is how you might look to other users again don't spend too too much time worrying about this bit it looks good let's click on the looks good now it asks you to pick a style of display you've got two styles to choose from a light style and a dark style Again, it doesn't matter too much which one you pick at this point in time. You just want to make sure that you've picked one. Uh, so I'm going to check the looks good icon. And again, uh, the last step here, or the second to last step, is to ask you what your coding experience is. Um, and just to be easy on yourself, uh, pick one of the um, first two options, not at all, or a beginner. And then again, I'm a teacher, so I'll be running classes, but you may want to pick yourself as a student um, to receive instructions. Um, we're going to click as a teacher. I'm going to click on as a teacher. You can click as a student for how you intend to use it. Right, and there you have it. Now, this is the basic interface. Um, it's going to ask me a few additional questions. Um, This is something you may not see. Okay. <clears throat> I may not create a team today, so I'm just going to leave that empty. So here we go. This is the basic interface for um, REPL IT. And on the top left and the left hand panel, you've got the main menu. You've also got the ability to search your organization if you're a member or your friends here, if, you're, uh, if you've got other team members that you want to join and collaborate with. So for the meantime today we're just going to work on creating our first program so we click on the button on the top left which says create and then you can see an option for a drop down menu which allows you to choose lots of different types of languages that you can code in so this platform is an amazing online ide because it has so many different options and so many different platforms that you can choose from we're going to keep it basic today and we're just going to stick with the python one um, you start off your projects by naming them and there's a preset default name given to your project before you start You can just highlight that and delete it <coughs> And give your project your own name you can also set the privacy to make sure that it's public or private uh, Again, you don't need to worry too much about this unless you're sharing and collaborating. So we're gonna skip past that stage Last one here, click on plus create REPL. And yet you'll be then brought to the REPL interface. Give it a few seconds to download its files. And hey presto, a couple of instructions here. This is your code editor where you write your code. This is how you press the run button to start running your code and testing it out. There is a shortcut which is command and return. This is where your code will be output. This is almost identical to the console and the shell, as you can see at the top. So your results will come out here. On the left hand side, you've got the file tree with, with types of files that you're using. This is the main document, the main file where you're coding. So if you get lost, just click on that. It returns you back to the main screen, main coding uh, program. And then lastly, you can invite other students and other teachers to collaborate with you. This is really helpful if you're sharing your program with others. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Join us for the next one where we look at how to create a simple code in, uh, in Python using REPL IT. Thank you very much. See you soon.